Billy Martin draws the heat in a crisis too hot to handle. The Red Sox try to fight off a cool spell. The Royals have a hot streak. Chris Fire has the hottest day of his career. Jack Clark keeps ripping with the hottest pace in giant history. And Pete Rose cooks up the hottest streak since the Yankee Clipper himself. Red Hot headlines and highlights on This Week in Baseball. Baseball season often feels like an endless summer, but not long ago in the American League, the Boston Red Sox threatened to end the summer before the Mercury had peaked. Boston reached its peak with a 10-game lead before the Milwaukee Brewers stepped into the picture and cut that lead in half. The two teams met in Milwaukee, quite aware that the summer had plenty of play in it. With Sox runners on first and second in their first encounter, Boston rallies. On this base hit, George Scott tries to score. The umpire calls him safe. Catcher Charlie Moore calls the umpire something else. Also forgets to call time. And Butch Hobson sneaks in the back door for another run. How about that? An exciting summer for Boston holding on to first and Milwaukee leaping toward first. still have a long way to go up there to turn the whole season around. But now Brewer fans have slugger Larry Heisel, who's even challenging Boston's Jim Rice. Heisel's power display threw Milwaukee into a heat wave of full-fledged pennant fever. and Brewers split their two-game series, but Milwaukee then went on to sweep the Texas Rangers, while the Red Sox moved on to Kansas City, where the Royal Vantage Point has been improving rapidly in the American League West. Kansas City figures it might well play Boston in the league championship series and would love to see it all happen like this. Clint Hurdle, the rookie heralded for Major League stardom, may have started to fulfill that prophecy against Boston, bursting out in the first game of the series with this three-run homer and six RBIs. The Royals romped against Sox pitching, while their own left-hander, Paul Splithorpe, fashioned a shutout, the first time the Red Sox have been blanked in 108 games. The Royals have a history of making life tough for Boston. Last summer, they swept the Sox here. Boston began to slump while KC stormed on to a divisional title. Was it deja vu? Well, the Red Sox still have reason to feel secure, but Kansas City fans had to smile at these signs of good fortune. Once again, their team swept Boston, this time with an added weapon, ace reliever Al Robosky. A mad Hungarian psychs up the crowd and himself. His act may now be familiar to American League hitters, but they've had little success in spoiling it so far, Red Sox included. In 
fact, no one has had much success with these Royals recently. KC extended its winning streak to 10 games while racing to a three-game lead over second-place California in the Western Division. playing their brand of baseball and showing signs of doing in the second half what the Red Sox did in the first half. But even while all this was happening, an even bigger news story was about to explode in Kansas City. This must be costing you a fortune. No, I have 2,000 free weekend minutes a month. How long does that offer last? For life. Yeah, which is probably how long before we go riding again. At the new Verizon Wireless Center and Radio Shack, get 2,000 free national weekend minutes a month for as long as you stay on qualifying digital rate plans. Plus, get a Motorola Tri-Mode phone for just $69.99. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You want to go riding? Sing. Ben, no patience. <laughs> Roundup. It will be your greatest enemy when you take over the weed family. Me? Leave the family? New Roundup is stronger, faster. It kills to the root. So when I take over, we'll all be dead? New Roundup. No root, no weed, no problem. Why don't you get us something to cool the spire down? I got just the thing. Case that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud Light. That's, that's not that bad. It's here, waiting for you. Inside is unlimited strength and power. It builds confidence and reshapes your body. It can change everything. This is Bowflex, an entire gym and one easy to use machine. So powerful, it delivers over 60 health club quality exercises with up to 410 pounds of resistance, all in the convenience of your own home. Strength training with Bowflex is so effective that we guarantee you'll get the results you want in six weeks or less. And you can own one with no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. Bowflex is real. The results are real. The question is, are you ready for Bowflex? For a free video and brochure, call or go online at bowflexdirect.com. Do the research, listen to real customers, then place your order online and get started. Bowflex. Who said change isn't easy? George, look at that! Holy cow! The slam to Elway. Gets it to Gretzky. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Guys, the Bulls win! Save, rebound, score! Do you believe it? Throughout his career, Billy Martin has been famed as a battler and a winner. But his long battle of nerves with players and management finally proved too much. A week after Billy suspended Reggie Jackson, the Yankee superstar returned in a mood less than apologetic. For the, the way that they have interpreted the offense, an apology is in order, but the way I've interpreted the offense, you know, like I don't really feel I did anything wrong, you know. But, uh, you know, like I'm sorry I called the guys on the, caused the guys on the club grief. Coach Elston Howard and others offered different reactions to Reggie's return. I think the biggest problem is facing 24 ball players. But uh, I would say that he have to come back, and I think that talk to the players, talk to the manager, and try to get himself together. I just think, uh, you know, if he's getting lined up and let his bat and glove do the talking. I don't know. I have to talk to him, find out if he's got any hitting. If he has any hitting, he won't be in the lineup. Jackson had not batted during his absence and was not in the lineup on the day of his return. While he sat on the bench, Billy Martin perhaps proved a point. The Yankees could win without Reggie. Here they completed a sweep against the White Sox for their fifth straight victory.
New York was utilizing a style of play that won a pennant in 76, spraying hits around the diamond, taking the extra base, and when the manager so ordered, an occasional buck. But if the Yanks stirred their pennant chances, Billy Martin would not see them through. That night, while still upset about Reggie Jackson, Martin's alleged comments insulted team owner George Steinbrenner. The rest was quick, dramatic history. Here are the events of the past 24 hours particularly. I, as president of the New York Yankees, have accepted Billy Martin's resignation as manager. However, because we're all deeply concerned about Billy's physical and mental, emotional well-being, the Yankees stand ready to honor the salary commitments of Martin's contract in 1979. I owe it to my health and my mental well-being to resign. At this time, I'm also sorry about these things that were written about George Steinbrenner. He does not deserve them, nor did I say them. I've had my difference with George, but we've been able to resolve them. I would like to thank the Yankee management. And I thought the world had... Close friends like former Yankee shortstop Phil Rizzuto commented on Martin's agony. Uh, Billy Martin's dream was to uh, end out his career as manager of the Yankees and then maybe in the front office. And uh, when he broke up at that press conference uh, and started to cry and just tremble, uh, I just couldn't express my feelings. Billy Martin has always been great to me. Uh, we've always had a nice relationship. Uh, I believe that he's always done, you know, what he could for the for the ball club and for the fellas. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I just think that most of the guys respect him and, uh, uh, you know, a little bit sad that the situation uh, ended like it did. Well, you know, and Reg and him had a little squabble and everything, and two wrongs don't make a right. But I think uh, Billy Martin is the type of manager that stood up and stands for what the Yankees means, and that's my feelings about the whole situation. And so Billy Martin was gone. And one day later, Bob Lemon took over. Whatever the future for the New York Yankees, there's little doubt that July 24, 1978, will be a date not easily forgotten. Grandmom couldn't come with us. Chronic bronchitis or emphysema associated with COPD can keep you from doing simple things. Sometimes you can't breathe right. But taking CeraVent helps me take fuller breaths. Nothing can reverse COPD, but taking CeraVent twice a day can help improve your lung function around the clock. One call is all it takes to find out more about managing your COPD. Call 1-800-613-8526 right now to get 10 tips for taking fuller breaths and a $10 rebate. CeraVent should not replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms or be taken more than twice a day. Some people may experience increased blood pressure, heart rate, or changes in heart rhythm. CeraVent is prescription medicine and may not be right for everyone. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure or take MAOIs or tricyclic antidepressants. Ask your doctor if CeraVent is right for you and start taking fuller breaths. Call now for your free tips and rebate offer. ESPN Classic has so many hits, shots, plays, and passes that sometimes we can't decide what to put on. So we want you to take control with Classic Remote Control. Log on to ESPN.com, keyword classic, and tell us what you'd like to watch on Sunday nights from 7 to 9. Whatever matchup or showdown viewers suggest most is what you'll see on Sunday night. Hey, with a sports library as big as ours, you need help too. So log on, write it in, and take control. Classic Remote Control, Sunday nights from 7 to 9, only on ESPN Classic. In the National League, baseball fans are applauding some of the top individual performances of 1978. Philadelphia's ace left-hander Steve Carlton reached a big league milestone. After six unsuccessful attempts, he finally picked off his 200th career victory. Carlton joins Oriole Jim Palmer and Dodger Don Sutton in this year's 200-win circle, the ninth active pitcher to achieve that mark. Greg Lezinski, another Philly in the spotlight. The Bull led first place Philadelphia to five straight wins, batting 588 and hitting his 23rd homer of the season to tie for the Major League lead. Another heavy hitter, Reggie Smith of the Los Angeles Dodgers. The switch hitting outfielder blasted seven home runs in eight games and drove in 15. 
as the Dodgers stayed close to the Giants and Reds in the National League West. It's not always the slugger who plays the starring role with the bat. In Montreal, shortstop Chris Spire, batting eighth against the Atlanta Braves, produced perhaps the major's top offensive performance. A single up the middle. A double to the opposite field. A triple in the gap. And a home run all the way out. Chris Beyer became the first player in the National League this season to hit for the cycle. The cycle, four for four and six RBIs, all in one game. Thousands of drivers are saving money by switching to GEICO Auto Insurance. I'm here with one of them. Hello. You don't want your identity revealed. Why? If word got out I saved so much, people would be hitting me up for money all the time. Ah. Uh, you threw with the milk? Sure, of course. I have to be careful. Geico Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Guys like us got no choice. This is war. There was no time for fear. We have to strike the heart of Japan the way they have hit us. And no giving up. Let's do it! Without a fight. You know what top secret is? Kind of mission where you get medals. But they send them to your relatives. Ben Affleck, Josh Hartnett, Kate Beckinsale, Cuba Gooding Jr. Pearl Harbor, rated PG-13, starts Friday, May 25th. The Toyota Celica. Performance you can use. The Toyota Celica. Performance you can use. Sports Century is only on ESPN Classic tonight at 8. Farrell Ancicina was one of the smartest drivers I've ever raced against. He very rarely made a mistake. To put him behind the wheel of a really good car was to mean nobody else was going to win. He got a fire that rages inside him. He'd shown the world he wasn't a washed up old man. He'd shown that he could do it. Al Unser Sr. Sports Century, the top 50 and beyond. Every weeknight at 8 Eastern and Pacific. Only on ESPN Classic. This is ESPN Classic. The Atlanta Braves' Jeff Burroughs is one of the National League's top offensive performers for the season. Burroughs' power is no surprise. 41 homers and 114 runs batted in last year. But this season, he's almost 70 points above his lifetime batting average and has a chance to lead the league in hitting. San Francisco's Bill Madlock. One of three Giants closing in on Burroughs and the batting race. The two-time National League batting champ has never hit under 300 and has a 328 lifetime average. <music> Teammate Terry Whitfield has never hit over 300, but this season could be his first. The clutch hitting outfielder's average recently rose near the 320 mark. Twenty-two-year-old Jack Clark, the third giant making loud noises in the batting race. Not only did he move up to the league's number two spot in average, he was also among the league leaders in home runs, RBIs, and broke a giant club record, hitting in 26 games in a row. And talking about hitting streaks, 
Pete Rose stands at the top of the National League. The 37-year-old switch hitter got base hit number 3,000 early in the year, but he didn't stop there. After a brief slump, causing his average to fall into the 260 range, Pete hit his hottest streak ever. I think I'm hitting the ball real good for, you know, 36 days and going on 37, I hope. And I think the big thing now is our ball club is 8-3 and three since the All-Star break, and we move within a game and a half of the uh, Giants, and we're just trying to keep moving up and get in first place because we feel we got the best team in baseball. One reason the Reds feel they're the best is because of their bullpen, headed by short man Doug Bear. Although in only his first full Major League season, the Cincinnati right-hander extended his second-half streak to eight scoreless games, producing two wins, five saves, and quite a reputation in the National League. Nature made it. Minwax makes it beautiful with rich wood stains and long-lasting protective finishes. Turning a house into a beautiful home is as easy as turning to Minwax. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Thank you, Big Wheel. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, Thank zoom, you, Sit and Spin. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Thank you, Radio yeah, Flyer. Yeah. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, 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 Thanks for the inspiration. The Mazda MPV. One drive. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And it'll all come back to you. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. No place like home. For over 60 years, Owens Corning has been advancing the science of insulation, roofing, sound control, even home theaters. And everything we've learned, we've put into one very special place. Your home. Owens Corning. We know homes. We got a big problem. Problem? New Roundup. New Roundup? What now? It's twice as strong, faster than ever. It'll shrivel you all the way down to the roots. So we can't grow back? Oh, I feel faint. New Roundup. No root, no weed, no problem. Start your weekend with the hottest NASCAR action in history. Only on ESPN Classic. Every Saturday at 10, get ready for Classic Pit Stop. NASCAR legends like Earnhardt, Gordon, and Petty battle it out in two hours of full throttle NASCAR action. Before the big weekend race, get ready with Classic Pit Stop. Every Saturday at 10, only on ESPN Classic. Get in the fast lane with ESPN Classic, home of the greatest NASCAR in history. This is ESPN Classic. Ever since he arrived in the majors 15 years ago, attention has constantly focused on Pete Rose. Now his remarkable consecutive game hitting streak has magnified the attention like never before. Such a hitting streak is rare, almost as rare as Pete Rose himself. It takes enormous concentration, skill, and a touch of luck. This ninth inning two-out bunt single kept Pete's streak alive at 32 games. In this game, I learned a long time ago, someone's going to give you something. They give you an inch, take a mile. And Schmidt was playing even with the bagger, maybe a couple steps behind. And they ought to be a critical of him, not me. <laughs> and I been... made the perfect bunt. Yeah, he didn't make the play. I made the bunt. Rose's streak also put considerable attention on the man he was chasing, Tommy Holmes, who set the National League mark of 37 in 1945. A year he well remembers. In our business, sometimes you get hot where everything you swing at is a line drive. And fortunately, uh, even in this year that I did have, I only struck out nine times, which uh, shows the consistency I was lucky enough to have. Consistency. Detroit's Ron LaFleur had it in 1976 when he hit in 30 consecutive games. In baseball history, a 30-game hitting streak is rarer than 3,000 career hit. In 1969, Dodger speedster Willie Davis also hit in 31 straight games. Other names go back much further into the past. Heine Manush of the Washington Senators, a 33-game hitting streak in 1933. Cardinal hitting immortal Rogers Hornsby, the Raja, also 33 straight games in 1922. Joe DiMaggio's brother Dom, 34 straight games with the Red Sox in 49. 
then Tommy Holmes, who broke Hornsby's modern National League record and went on to set a new mark of 37. I actually didn't start to mount up uh, pressure-wise until around the 28th to 29th game when I found out I was getting close to Roger Hornsby's record. And mostly what I remember about it is uh, we played a doubleheader when I tied the record and broke it up in Boston. And Frankie Fish, who was managing the Pittsburgh Pirates, come out and he says, good luck, Tommy, I'm throwing two of my best left-handers at you. So that was a nice compliment. And I got a base hit off Kenny Raffensperger to tie the record. And in the second game, I hit Preacher Rose first pitch for a double to break the record. And getting six hits that day made me feel very good. Still ahead of Holmes are American leaguers like Tiger Immortal Ty Cobb, who hit in 40 straight in 1911. And George Sisler, 41 consecutive games with the Browns in 1922. And before the modern era, Bad Bill Dallin, 42 straight with Chicago in 1894. And Baltimore's Wee Willie Keeler hit them where they ain't. 44 consecutive games in 1897. The old record smashed in 1941 by Joe DiMaggio. Seldom has any player received more attention than did the Yankee Clipper when he went on to hit in an unbelievable 56 consecutive games. That Major League mark could be the most revered record in baseball. But this week, Pete Rose was thinking about the modern National League record. And many were asking the man with that record about his new rival. Pete Rose is a two-field hitter, which I was. Uh, he gets the barrel of the bat on the ball well, and he has more power than I had opposite field. Pete hey, Rose is a switch hitter, which I was not. So I had to hit everything from the left side. Pete Rose is faster than I was. So again, in trying to compare the two of us as to style, other than the fact that he does have a good eye, and he's a switch hitter, and he does have speed. That does make the difference. At Shea Stadium Monday night, with his streak on the line in the seventh inning, Pete singled to tie Tommy's league record of 37 consecutive games. You know Rose felt mighty good about that, one, and so did the cheering New York crowd. But how about another onlooker out there, Tommy Holmes? Number one, if anyone has a record, including myself and Joe DiMaggio, and said they wanted to see it beaten, I think you could take that with a grain of salt. I don't want to see my record beaten. However, if my record is beaten by a pro like Pete Rose, I hope, and I mean this sincerely, that with the ability he has and what he has done for baseball, in his years when he does get out of baseball, if he can continue to sell our game, the way he has sold it as a player, as a non-player, then I don't mind losing to a guy like Pete Rose. And with that hit on Tuesday night, Tommy Holmes did lose his record to Pete Rose. 38 consecutive games. And there to congratulate him was Tommy. The Gillette Company also congratulates Pete Rose, the recipient of this week's Gillette Special. That's all for this week, folks. See you next week on This Week in Baseball.